Having not fished here for many years, probably 25, 30 years, um, my lungs have been rudely awoken. Um, I'm at Breen Down at the moment. Um, it's really, really warm and muggy. As you can tell, uh, I've not been used to this sort of exercise for quite some time, but um, I'm going down there and uh, it, like I say, it's so warm, so muggy, it is, uh, it's unbelievable. Um, the walk back tonight is going to be interesting. Again, like I say, my lungs have been rudely awoken, so um, we'll wait and see. I had a quick chat with a chap in the car park, um, just to say, just in case I'm not back by uh, nine o'clock, um, you know, keep an eye out for me, because uh, I may be sat down trying to get a breather. So um, probably we've got about another 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes before I get to where I want to go. And um, low tide's going to be in about uh, an hour and a half. I'll speak to you in a bit. Thank you once again. So I've got to me mark, uh, which is uh, bringing down a little bit of a hike, <laughs> to say the least. Um, I've got a plain lead on today. I've got a king prawn and a crab, and I'm going to be casting onto um, mud, really. Um, so I'm going to I'm not going to cast it too far, too hard. Should be in some pl plenty of water in a minute. Um, the tide will be turning in about half an hour. So fingers crossed. Not too sure whether that breeze has just picked up, just picked up my line a little bit, but um seems a little odd. Just kind of um Very odd.
just want to be a bit careful. This is a bit slippy. Really strange this is. Really strange. Definite fish. Is it what I think it is? A lovely start to the session. Oh. There we go. Decent thorny. He picked that up. Oh, lovely. Top hook again. King prawn and half a crab. Brilliant result. Really pleased. Gonna weigh him in a minute. Um, really pleased with that. Gently. So I'm really, really pleased with that. Six pound thorn back on um, crab and prawn. And it was on a plain lead, literally cast out 40 yards. I saw it all coming up. So there you go. A six pound thornback ray in the Bristol Channel. Let's go put her back. Well, the tide's just about to turn. I've got to be honest, that wind sort of died, died away. I say died away, there's hardly been any of it. Obviously, it's a little bit warm. So one thing I would really suggest when going fishing, um, Obviously, make sure you take plenty of fluids, uh, which I have today, but they all seem to be coming out of my head, which is uh, quite strange. Um, however, um, I've just got to show you this view. Um, this is just unbelievable. The birds in the background. Absolutely stunning. That tide is literally just about to turn. Amazing, amazing view. So, being positive, I'd like to see um, a little bit of action on the rods. Um, I've only got one with me today because of um, the place that I'm, I'm at, and uh, I wanted to reduce the amount of um, things that I was carrying today. So, um, yeah, hopefully in the next half an hour, we'll be, um, as the tide floods back in, we'll be getting a, a bite or two. So, fingers crossed. But this is very, very good for the mind very good for the health as well. Um, certainly got my steps up today, so uh, there we go. Fingers crossed. So the evening's absolutely glorious, and I mean glorious. There's hardly a breath of fresh air. That sun is lovely. The water is still as can be. The scenery is amazing. The birds. Yeah, bird. Birds. It's it's lovely. Really, really nice. I had a fish first cast, which is lovely. Um, my plan was only to arrive and fish here for about two and a half hours. Um, the tide's pushing back in now, which is is really. I wanted to fish about two hours with the tide coming back. Um, 
got a little bit of a hike to go back, but um, a key, a real key message that I want to mention to people, um, especially if you're going to places which are not as frequented as um, like your main like Minehead or uh, Chesil and things like that. Um, you know, there's a lot of people walking up. You can hear them walking. You can hear them talking, giggling, chatting. Um, but um, this place where I'm fishing now is a little bit, a little bit remote. Um, but the key, key thing is um, the guy in the uh, in the cafe um, who was doing the car park. Um, I told him what car I had. Um, I told him roughly what time I'm going to be back, give or take, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. Um, obviously, like I say, the walks a feral walk. So. Um, you know the key thing is to make sure people know um, you know the guy in the in the cafe god forbid anything happens to anybody and there's a car still in the car park two or three hours later he may then be choosing to um just to go and double check to check on those people but um i had a quick chat with him and i made made sure he knew roughly what time i was going to be back so so that's an important thing um but yeah we're uh, we're doing well Thirty thousand plus views which I think is amazing. I'm not. I'm not targeting targeting myself on anything um, apart from myself. Um, 450 subscribers. Um, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, last few days, I've caught up with a, a couple of old friends and um, obviously talked about the reasons why I'm doing it. So um, yeah, it's fab. And um, thanks. Thanks once again for all you guys. Keep liking. Keep sharing. Keep keep viewing. So thanks ever so much. Um, I'm going to give it another half an hour before I pack up and then um, then off we go.